Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Mr. Pinstar here in the building. Today, we are going to discuss finances. So, I have a little spreadsheet that I've made which will help you determine what your monthly payments will be. And I have it customized for my state of Utah. With that being said, my tax will automatically show what the percentage is going to be for taxes. So, Utah state tax is 6.85%. So I have it here in decimal format, as you can see. And if you had a place that had 7%, you would do 0 0.0700 in decimal format here. So that's the place for you guys can check. So I'm going to fill in the blue areas and then you'll see all the calculations will be adding up and you can see what your monthly payment is. This will help you gauge on your finances so you can know if you're trying to get that scat pack or that RT or that Hellcat, then you can see what you're going to be paying each month. So let's pretend that I'm looking for a car right now. And let's say your boy went online and found himself a brand new 2018 Charger Scat Pack, baby. <laughs> so, this car brand new is listed at $41,785. So, I'm going to go back, put the price in, $41,785. We'll put that in there. Interest rate. Um, I don't know. I'll just put what I have right now. My 3.6, yeah, 5.9 interest rate, and trade-in value. I'm not going to put anything in there because most likely, if I trade in the car, they're just going to pay it off, and it's going to be zero. So this would only make sense if I didn't owe any money in the car, and I would be able to add the value in there that way. So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm not going to put anything for additional down. You know your boy doesn't believe in putting down payments. I don't believe in down payments. Yo, nope. We have the dealer and for the dealer title and license. That's what this field is. And here is typically 500. It could be lower, but um, usually it's $500 or so. Some places it's $300. Some places it's zero. So um, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it at 500 just to show. And as you can tell, my taxes has already shown here so on 41,785 I'm gonna be paying twenty eight hundred sixty two dollars on taxes meaning for the whole car I'm gonna be paying um, forty five thousand long term let's just say I do seven years a lot of people do seven years for a car so seven years is going to be seventy two months and voila monthly payments going to be 746 a month definitely way out my budget not looking to do that that's nah not happening that's like half of my mortgage right there so realistically for me um i wanted a scat pack it has to be below 30 and to get an example of that so if i put 30 right now at 537 Mm, that's still a little too high but at least you can see um, that's what um, low scat packs are going for is you know low 30s most likely I've seen some you know upper 20s 28s even 27 but they had a lot of miles on it you know 60 plus miles and I think they're being sold privately but you can at least see what the number is and know that if you're comfortable making that kind of payment each month you can do it of course you can tweak things um, SRT 8s that I liked you know the older ones I've seen them go for like 25 you know 40 to 60,000 miles on them if I hit that in there back out we got 449 a little bit better but you know my goal would be able to get a, a 392 at 400 or so may not happen may have to tweak the numbers a lot more you know even if I get a lower interest rate, let's just say if I had perfect credit, which I don't I have normal credit, let's say if it was like, you know, 2.9%, you know, it's down to 412. So it's a good jump, but and you have better negotiating power, of course, when you have high credit. 
but yeah that's all I wanted to show you guys um, if you guys want this spreadsheet you know I can make this available for you so let me know I can, I can probably share it with you since since it's a Google spreadsheet and that way you can look at it but but yeah man I play with this a lot all the time you know whenever I get bored I kind of want to see you know how much is a Hellcat you know if a Hellcat's like 50,000 right you looking at $891 if I was to finance it right pretty crazy and sometimes like you know for a car like that like for a Hellcat I'll even push the loan terms out you know I'd, I'd go to 84 I know I'm gonna be paying a lot more if I keep it all the way you know for those eight years which most likely won't happen but if I do it just to help lower the payment some more it'll drop it a little bit but but yeah you got some options you know the longer the loan term you know the more you can stretch out the payment and make it more comfortable for you so if I go back to the 30,000 which is the most I would pay for a car or a scat pack I should say unless I lease it and get a good deal and pay around low 400s or so which I'm not gonna go into but you know that's an option to get a lower payment but yeah 30,000 is the most I would pay for a scat and you know if I leave it at 84 months for the term I'm at 474 but anyway just wanted to share that with y'all let me know if you got any questions if you guys want this let me know I'll send you a little message you can get it but I'm out